Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I created a riser sound in my new track, Angels and Demons, off of my album, Universe. This is what the chorus sounds like without the riser, uh, and this is what Drop One sounds like. Drop One has no riser. <laughs> Not bad, but what I did on the second drop to add variation and a lot of tension is there's this riser that is just constantly going throughout the chorus. And how I make these risers is actually pretty straightforward, but there's kind of one or two sort of key features. So if I open up Serum, you'll see there is very little going on. There is one oscillator, the reverb filter, this is what's key, and the reverb. Now I'm gonna turn off any effects, and I'm gonna show you the first step. So the first step is picking what sort of tone you want. <laughs> In this case, I just used a saw wave. And what's really important is setting the pitch bend range down here in the bottom left. By setting this range, you're saying within the MIDI clip, when you automate the pitch bend, how far is this going to go? Now, why this is important is because I'm telling this sound the distance in which it travels. So, over the course of this entire clip, it goes from negative one octave to positive one octave. It travels two octaves. But what's really important is that it starts cleanly down at the bottom. Now you'll notice I have three little dots in a ramp here. And the reason for this is sometimes Ableton does this weird pitch latching, where when you play partway through a sound, the pitch of the sound starts all mangled. So I create these little reset dots at the beginning and end to just completely reset the pitch back to zero anytime I restart the clip. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You draw a ramp for the entire length of the clip and you make sure that it perfectly starts down one octave and up one octave. Now, what's really vital for this type of sound is the effects, and specifically the reverb filter. The reason for that is within my song, I've established a very specific note, the root note of the song or the key of the song. And when you have a riser constantly changing pitch, that means it's constantly out of tune because it only lands on a note within the key for a split second. So when the listener can really discern the pitch of this riser, it just makes the tone of your track really sour. So what I like to use is this reverb filter. Now this reverb filter is a really unique filter that creates really crazy phase issues in your sound. Now the thing is when it's high up, it doesn't affect enough of the sound. But when it's low with a really high resonance, it kind of smudges the sound. So as your sound is traveling up in pitch, you're hearing a bit of where it was and where it is, and it kind of smears it. So it, it's not just one meow. You kind of get a bit of everything in it. It makes it a lot less noticeable to the listener that it's just one pitch. It becomes a bit more rugged and noisy and smudged. You can see it's also just really made this a lot more hype. It kind of sounds like an alarm. Listen to that. Now, 
Now I also use an LFO for very slight movement because if this doesn't move at all, it doesn't really smudge the sound. And if it moves too much, you lose the effect. But when this reverb filter moves through the sound, it really smears it. Pretty crazy. And it's all just from this one filter. And I throw this on most risers now because of that. I like to really smudge the pitch of the riser. And then I just added reverb to further smear it. Because if you think a reverb creates tons of little micro delays in a sound. So the pitch that it just passed is being delayed into the current pitch. And again, it's stretching where the riser is over a longer range instead of just being one specific pitch. It kind of smudges it, which makes it a little less obvious and a little less uh, menacing in the mix. And you see that just between the reverb and the reverb filter, we've taken a very simple sound and made it sound like a whole swarm of bees kind of rising. Like it, it's, it's really nice. Otherwise, I've just got some sidechain compression, uh, some basic processing in terms of EQ. I'm getting that pumping effect from auto pan. But none of that is really vital to the sound. So there we go, guys. That's my new track, Angels and Demons. That's how I made the riser sound inside of a serum. I hope you got a lot out of this video. And uh, if you did, maybe share it around, support the song. Everything helps. Thanks again, guys. I'm Kermode. Peace.